Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex Apollo Saturn V Center. I'm here to show you one of my favorite aspects of space flight, mission patches. It's the most, one of the most important things you do when you get picked to be an astronaut. You gotta have a symbol for your mission. You gotta have something on your flight suit, something on your training manuals, something to show the world what your mission represents. We're gonna start with Apollo 7. Now you can tell just by looking at the patch, they did not go to the moon, they stayed around the Earth. That's why the Earth is highlighted in the patch. It was the very first flight of the Apollo Command Module and Service Module. Interesting fact, they were the first to uh, send live television images from space. Now after Apollo 7 proved that we can have a Command Module working in space, we want to actually see if we can go to the moon. That task would be undertaken by the crew of Apollo 8, commanded by Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Bill Anders. Now, on that mission, they only took one spacecraft, the command module, um, but they learned quite a bit just by going to the moon. There's a lot of things you got to do to get there, and they proved that they could do it well. If you look at the patch, you can tell the shape of it. It's not just, there's no particular circle or square. It's actually in the shape of the Apollo command module. One of my favorite patches. Now, after we proved that we could go to the moon, we wanted to give ourselves some harder goals. So Apollo 8, they only took one spacecraft. Apollo 9, they had a second spacecraft ready to go. The lunar module, the one that actually makes the landing. Now, at first, you don't want to take your lunar module to the moon. You want to test it around Earth. So just by looking at the patch, there's no moon on that patch. They didn't go to the moon. But you can see they have all the aspects of the flight. The first flight of the Saturn V rocket with the command module and the lunar module. This was actually a D-class mission, which meant it was supposed to test the lunar module. So if you look at Jim McDivitt's name, there's actually a little red in there, signifying it's a D-class mission. Now, Apollo 8 had one spacecraft, so the call sign was Apollo 8. But Apollo 9 had two spacecraft, so they had to come up with multiple call signs. On Apollo 9, because the command module, when it came from the factory, it was wrapped in colorful foil, they called it gumdrop, the candy. The lunar module, they called Spider. Those spindly legs, they called it Spider. It makes it easy to distinguish which spacecraft is being talked to. Now, Apollo 9 set the stage for Apollo 10, which they did go to the moon, but it was a practice one for Apollo 11. They did go to the moon, but did not land. Once again, they brought the lunar module with them. They did not get to the surface. They did get about 15 kilometers close which is when the power descent for Apollo 11 would start. Now, you can't see the entire lunar module on Apollo 10. You only see the ascent module. The descent module that has all the fuel for landing, they had to get rid of. So they tested the ascent module. They redocked with the command module, came back to Earth, Apollo 11, ready to go a few months later. Now, on Apollo 10, their spacecraft names were Charlie Brown, for the command module, and the lunar module was a famous Snoopy. All right, now we're finally at the Apollo 11 patch, and everyone knows this is the first one to actually land on the moon. And you're gonna notice that there's no names on the patch, as all the others had names. Neil, Buzz, and Michael said they don't want their names on it. They want it to represent the 400,000 people that came together to build this, uh, this whole program, to make the lunar landing happen. You can also see that the eagle is carrying an olive branch, a very, very famous symbol of peace. Now I've shown you a lot of Apollo patches today, but we want to see what you would design if you and your best friends were to go to the moon today. So create something, send it to us, we want to see what you come up with. My name's Stefan, thank you for joining us.